Now I've been asked to talk a little about some of the herbs that you can plant at this time of the year. And one of them which is a joy to have in your garden is called bronze fennel. This is not a bulbing type fennel like you see in the supermarkets or you might have grown in your own, own garden. This is a, a, a fluffy, rosy, wine-colored plant that gives you really beautiful add-ons to your spring cooking. It smells lovely, it tastes lovely, it's quite sweet and has that anise flavor. And it could also be used as a, a sweetener and a flavor for tea. And that we will will have those all, the, 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 these these seeds I'm talking about. Well, these plants I'm talking about. We have them available. We put them up into small containers so that you can move them directly into your garden. And um, and it's a good way to start because some herbs, particularly and some vegetables, take a very long time to get from the seed stage to a transplant stage. They might take two or three months and so you can't really put them in when you feel like gardening in the springtime and expect you're going to get much out of them because it's too late. You really want to put them in as, as transplants. So if you get an opportunity to uh, stop, uh, stop in, we will be selling transplants um, each month as they become a, as they become available and we'll try to pair the transplants that we we uh, produce that month to what should go into your garden so you don't have to hold a lot of stuff on a window ledge or something for ages until it's time to put it in your as soon as it turns warm again things like bronze fennel could go in and they would go in also with things like um, Italian parsley. Uh, bronze fennel will be at least a biannual and might even be a perennial, but they get a little old and woody after a while, so you're better to start them every year or two. 